So we start with four cups. We start cups with four cups of flour. Of white um, flour. We do a tablespoon of salt. You want to okay. mix all your dry ingredients first. Okay. A tablespoon of baking powder. Mm, a lot of baking powder, but that's what makes them get so nice and tall. And then tall. just a pinch of baking soda. Oh, okay, is that because of the buttermilk? Yeah. Okay, just a pinch. Exactly, just a pinch. And then we mix okay. it with our hands. And all these biscuits we mix entirely with our hands at the restaurant, and we bake, you know, probably. Well, I read that you do like 800 biscuits on a weekend. Yeah, we have we have one kitchen staffer, and basically from 6 a.m. to about 3 in the afternoon, he bakes biscuits. He so makes and bakes biscuits. So cold butter, one cup, two one cup of cold sticks, butter. cut into nice little pieces. So you just break just kind this of work in. it in with your hands. Okay. Once you feel that you've got like medium to small size pebbles, you don't have to work the butter all the way in, but you just want to soften okay. it up and get it kind okay. of coated the flour. Add your buttermilk. And usually I add a little bit at a time just because sometimes your kitchen might be a little hotter, might be a little bit more humid. So you really want to be able to feel the dough. Okay. And then the rest. Yeah. So then you want okay. to take some of your bench flour. Yes. Mm. Always have a little Save bench flour when you're making biscuit. biscuits. And then you're going to roll that on just till the dough comes together, really. Okay. And then basically what I do is kind of work, work, the, work the, uh, the dough a little bit and adding a little flour as you need it into kind of like a square. And I think the key to making those biscuits that really rise and get that flakiness is um, folding it over almost like you were making like a puff pastry. Okay. So you kind of fold the corners in a couple times. So once you've got your, your... How high? High? I do it about like that, and then just kind of reform them after we cut some. Okay. You always want to, when you take your cutter, you always want to make sure you flour it a little bit. Yeah. And you really want to kind of feel that cut as you're going through the biscuit. And if it... Because what's going to happen if, there's, if it's too wet, it'll fold the sides down. Yeah. And then you won't get that nice rise again out of your mm. biscuit. There. Oh, good. <gasps> Look at that. How beautiful. Yeah. So then... After that, we cut out a few more. So how many of those? This makes about This makes eight? about eight or ten. So then what we're oh. going to do is we're going to take our pastry brush. We're going to bake. We're going to brush with a little bit of this buttermilk. Can we form this again? Oh, yeah. After you brush it with your buttermilk, you bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes until okay. you get it nice and good. That really is a fantastic brush. <laughs>